Hello my friends, welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 16, Screen Movies. Now, admittedly, it's not a Max tutorial really, but those people in my class who are doing uh, Max projects will want to show them as screen movies, or if you just happen to be interested in how to make a screen movie and put it up on YouTube, this is the tutorial for you. So, here we go. With that being said, you have something that you want to record on your screen. In our case, it's this beautiful new MIDI keyboard that we made last week. And we want to show it off to our um, idiotic professor and have him uh, think that we're really cool, as well as impress all of our classmates, including all of them. Okay, very good. Well, so first, let's make sure that our keyboard is working, and um, and uh, we can do that by just making sure that we have the the synth selected because that's what, where we're going to get our sound. We pick out an instrument that we like. Oh my goodness, a tango accordion sounds good to me. Actually, it's not very interesting. How about um, something that we don't get to hear that often, like? A sci-fi. No, we don't want to hear a sci-fi. We want to hear uh, a muted trump. Whoa, a muted trumpet. Sure, why not? Always weird sounding thing. There we go. I like it. It has a old-fashioned sound, and then we'll just check our Ooh, very nice. Well, we have plenty of time for that later. So, when we actually do the movie. But then, so you're going to practice your stuff first, because you're not making the movie first, so then, then you're like, hey, I'm going to do a little practicing. Oops. I got it, I got it. This is going to be my day. This is going to be the day I shine. Cool. Another thing that you might want to do, though I've kind of already done it, because you realize that I'm already making a screen movie, right? You guys realized that? That's right. I'm making a screen movie, and now I'm going to show you how to make a screen movie inside that screen movie. So, if the whole computer melts down, it's not really going to be surprising. But um, so anyway, but one thing that you can do um, so that you don't have a little tiny keyboard there is that you can take your your um, Max keyboard and just make the window big and then um, hit the zoom key in Max, um, which I do by hitting command um, equals or command plus, if you will. And then that kind of zooms it up a little bit. That's maximum zoom there. And so that's all we're going to get. This is as big as it gets. So we'll take this window and size it. So it'll come out as big as possible on the movie because we want that. And look, now it's big enough that it covers up that stupid text that's in the background. Okay, so now we have this thing all zoomed in and nice. And um, we're going to go get our screen recorder. Now, um, I'm on a Mac. So I'm going to go down to Applications here and find QuickTime. There it is. I'm going to open QuickTime. And hello, QuickTime. It immediately says, what do you want to open? I don't want to open anything. I'm going to cancel that. But what I am going to do is um, say, go up here to the top left and say, I would like to make a new screen recording. Now, this has changed a little bit recently. So you're going to want to do a couple things here. You're going to want to make this fit right around your keyboard so that this will end up being your movie. And then you come down here to the bottom, <clears throat> and this is Macintosh's new screen grab thing. And one of the things you're going to want to do, because you're not going to get any sound unless you pick something to make sound. I have a Yeti stereo microphone, but we could 
be recording with the built-in microphone. Where is it? Um, oh, there it is, right there below it. The built-in microphone, but I'm not going to do that. This Yeti sounds so good. I'm going to use that. You can also select if you want a little bit of a count in. I like that. And then I have it saved to QuickTime Player. So make sure these things are clicked. And if you're on a PC and using a different screen recorder, I can't help you, but there it is. So, okay, close your options. And now the fun begins. Make sure this is selected, which says record selected portion, if it wasn't already. It'll otherwise record the entire screen, which can be embarrassing. Hopefully not. Um, and then all you got to do is click record. And now you see it counting. Counting, counting, two seconds, one second, go. Ah, I'm not ready. Okay, here we go. Uh, um, what was that song I was playing before? Oh, uh, uh, Professor, this is my uh, MIDI keyboard device, and I'm going to play a song for you. No, I was going to play this song. No, this song. And then I was going to play it an octave higher. Nice, don't you think? <laughs> Big finish. All right. Hey, well, that is my uh, thing. And also, Professor, I did do the thing where I learned to put in all the different um, instruments, as you can see. And the volume works. Now it's quiet. You can barely hear it. So there you go. That is my keyboard rocking you out. Thank you, Professor. Give me a great grade. Okay, now that you've finished all that, you want to come up here and hit stop. And it stops. And it has been recorded. So now this is our recording right here. Oh, that makes your eyes go weird. And we can check it just to make sure it's okay. Um, I could have also done harmony with this. Here we go. Uh, oh, here we go. What was that song, was was that song I was going to play? Oh, oh my god, it uh, was... Um, jeez. No. I'm the professor. Who are you? Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop that, no, no, that no, joking gonna... around with myself. I will, I promise, stop the joking around with myself. There it is. Okay. Now we have our screen recording. And let's just save it somewhere that we know where it is. So it's called the screen recording, blah, blah, blah. We're going to change the name to um, Nifty MIDI. Oh, no, not Nifty. Um, Ted's. Don't put an apostrophe in there. No, Ted's Nifty MIDI, uh, MIDI, MIDI keyboard. And where am I going to save it? I'm going to save it. Uh, right on the desktop. There it is. Okay, good. And now we know where this is. Okay, so that concludes the first part, which is making the movie. We've made the movie, and now we're going to upload it to YouTube, and then we're going to post it on the blog. This is a lot of stuff, I know. So we're kind of moving into part two here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. No, I'm in the wrong one. That's where I watch it. This is my actual YouTube studio where I put all my fantastic Max 8 tutorials. Um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create by uploading a video. And I now go I select the file, which you may remember I saved on the desktop as, uh, what was it, Ted's Nifty Keyboard, Ted's, who is this Ted guy? Ted's Nifty Keyboard, there it is. And we're going to go ahead and open it. 
and there it goes speedily up going up and now you could oh it's not a max 8 tutorial really but it sort of is max 8 tutorial no it's not uh, screen it, well what what is it really it's ted's awesome keyboard keyboard yep 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 title says it all title says it all okay and um that goes on there and as it uh you can blah 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 you know i always just say it's not made for kids because if you say it is made for kids and you accidentally swear they'll come get you but if it's not made for kids, you can just put anything in there and it's just perfectly fine. So anyway, they're going to process this for a while. But while it's doing that, you can see right here there's a video link and you can copy it. So just go ahead and copy that. And now we go back to our other page, not this one, but the blog. and um if you were actually uh this is our blog by the way you have to send me your um what do you call it your your sign-ins for the blog I'll, I'll send that in an email okay so here's our blog and you want to make a post on it so you go up here and you say new post and for what I, oh now i have to come over here and i say new post all right title are, are we getting tired of this yet? Ted's. Now you can use an apostrophe S, though. Sorry about the double capitalizing. Everybody hates that. Ted's excellent MIDI keyboard. Boy, I hope my professor doesn't think it's a bogus keyboard. And then we come down here and say, here, here, here. Here's my keyboard. It rocks. Okay, good, good. Um, and then the more important part. So this is, we're going to make a blog post. And now we go to this icon here, which is insert a video. Whoops, insert a video. And the reason I made you um, put it on YouTube is that if you upload it from your computer, it's size limited, which just really stinks. It's got to be tiny and it has to be the right format. And then I'd have to tell you all those things. YouTube automatically formats it and does that stuff for you. And there's no uh, real size restriction. So go ahead, click on YouTube and then say, um, Oh, I thought I could just put a link in here, but oh, that's fine. Oh my goodness. Search. Well, there we are. So no videos found because it hasn't finished processing yet. So wait until your videos finish processing. And I guess we'll pause for a minute. It. okay okay so let's just go over to that other thing and click on it as a link last chance to get $50 off NFL Sunday ticket add it today and watch nice to know that we're going to have that add on but let's copy it and go back and paste it in there Hey, there it is. Ted's awesome keyboard. See, I knew we could overcome this thing. So let's go ahead and select that. And um, we'll select it. And it pops up right in our little window there. And you may be able to make it a bit bigger. Maybe. Now that's weird. I've never seen it do that before, but maybe because I did that. Okay. Huh. 
Interesting. Well, you can never tell what's going to happen in the world of technology. Whoops. Come on. Well, don't try to don't try to crop it too much. It seems to have bad effects. Okay, so there it is. Here's my keyboard. It rocks. Let's publish it. Yes, we're going to publish that. And now we're going to go ahead and view the blog. And look. It's Ted's awesome keyboard. Here we go. Uh what was that song I was playing for? Oh, uh, yeah, like, anyway, it's one of those uh, things where I get to talk over myself again. My, so I'm uh, going to stop this. Keyboard device and I'm going to play a song. But anyway, you can see it's Ted's excellent MIDI keyboard. Here's my keyboard. It rocks. Okay, don't forget I've sent you an email and I'm asking you to send me your email addresses that you sign into um, uh, uh, Gmail, uh, your Gmail account with or anything or, or just your email address is fine and uh, send them to me and that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video and we have now posted videos onto our blog. So that's super. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing your keyboards up on the blog.